Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my page, Money Making Juggernaut. I'm your host, Eric Richardson. Today, we have a great video in store. I'm going to discuss how you can get started in tax overages with no money at all. Zero startup costs, guys. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and hit the like, hit the subscribe button. I'm coming out with content weekly just to give you guys tips and tricks on how to get this money. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So first off, we need to find a county that has access to leads for free and that are very accessible. So you need to identify a county that has their leads online, okay? So I always mention that there are certain keywords that you need to search up when you're looking for tax overages. So you've also heard of this as excess proceeds, excess funds, surplus funds, tax overages. These are all keywords that you can search and just attach a county name to the beginning. Now you wanna identify a county that will have this stuff online for free and very easy, very accessible. There's many counties out there in the nation that have this information on their county's website. So you can look at the clerk of courts or usually this is gonna be under the sheriff department. They're gonna show you know where these funds are coming from. If it's a sheriff sale or a tax delinquent sale, they're gonna show that, okay? So you wanna identify a county that has this very accessible for you. You also wanna find a county that does not require an attorney. So some counties that do require an attorney to file a motion to receive these surplus funds, but some counties, actually majority counties do not require an attorney. Most counties in Florida and in California do not require an attorney. Actually all counties in Florida do not require an attorney. So those are what you wanna identify. That is the first step to get started in tax overages with zero money down. You wanna find a county that's gonna have the leads online free. Now, if you're asking, well, how can I get this? Like I said, you wanna look for those keywords. You just wanna simply search it. You're gonna do a little digging online. You're gonna identify where they actually have the leads. You know, some counties, it's gonna be very easy. You're gonna type in tax D surplus funds, excess funds list, tax sale report, and then boom, the county's page is gonna pop up and you're gonna be able to see those leads pretty easily. After you identify that, now you have your leads for free. Now you have to skip trace them. The easiest way to skip trace them for free is truepeoplesearch.com. Now when you search them, you wanna make sure you do your due diligence on the property, you wanna match up who the previous owner is, and you also want to identify the correct spelling of their name and try to identify a city so that when you go to skip trace them, you can match the correct name with the person. Now when I say match the correct name, you wanna make sure you have their first and last name. Some counties, they input their information as last name, first name. So make sure you guys are fully aware of that. Next, you wanna reach out to get them to agree. After you've identified their leads, you've skip traced them for free, now you have them, you wanna give them a call. There's gonna be multiple phone numbers, multiple emails, um, social media links. You wanna give them a call, call all of this. Your job is to get as many calls in as possible because when you get that one yes, it's gonna make, make up for all the time that you've been spending making all of those calls. So make sure you reach out to them. If you do not know what to say to them, I have many videos on how to do a cold call, what to say to them to get them to agree. I have videos on you know, the top things you must be able to answer when you're on a call. So make sure you guys check that out. After you get them to agree, you know, you've told them a percentage, like I always mentioned, you can charge anywhere from 15 to 30%. That's pretty much standard. You can typically charge more than that if you feel like it. Most counties, they don't have any jurisdiction on how high you can charge. Some do, so I don't want any trolls in the comments like, oh, in this, you can charge this. Like, stay out here with that. Okay, so next, um, you're gonna have to send the documents. Okay, so the documents needed, um, you know, it, it's gonna be hard to get this for free, but it, you know, it could possibly be out there on the internet, or simply you can type up your own documents. Okay, guys, at the end of the day, you know, somebody's signature next to the proper literature is all you need, okay? Make sure that gets notarized as well. You're gonna send them these documents, you send it over to them email, you don't have to overnight it. You're gonna ask them if they have a personal notary, okay? Most people have personal notaries. Friends could be a notary, they might know a bank teller that'll notarize it for them for free, or they'll actually do it because it's so low cost, they'll do it themselves. So make sure everything is notarized. These are legal documents. They cannot be e-signed, e no docu-sign, none of that. This is actual legal claims. Okay, so next you're gonna need them to mail these documents back. Now this is very simple. You can simply send them a you know a letter of instruction next steps. 
and have them mail it back to you, they'll typically mail it back to you. That's happened to me before. They'll mail it back to me. There was times when I even paid for um, you know, a prepaid FedEx slip. They didn't use it. They just mailed it back with their own postage and you know, I didn't even have to get charged for FedEx. So it is possible they can you know, actually pay for the mailing themselves. And then also you want to invoice them. So actually after you have this claim filed, you have all your documents needed, you know, you have the claim, the county's gonna pay it out. Now this is this is one hurdle that you, you'll face if you're trying to get this started with no with no money down. By not having a bank account, all of your documents, when you send things to the county, they're gonna have to make the check payable to the claimant. So you're gonna have to put your trust fully into the claimant that they're gonna actually pay you out your fee, your invoice. But that is in your agreement form. So if you have your agreement form and you have in there that, you know, if they don't pay you out, they can be due trouble damage, which means that you can sue them, you can go after them legally, then they typically, you know, they should be able to pay you back. You will have to build a good relationship with your clients. That's never happened to me, but it is possible, okay? But this is how you essentially can get started with no money down. You, after they receive their payment from the county, you send them an invoice and they'll just pay you on PayPal. So once you get deals, guys, you want to you want to start, you know, funding your business, making your business grow. So there's things that you will need to pay for. This is how you can get started with no money down. But you'll want to definitely have an LLC, first of all, to protect yourself, run a legit business. You're going to need a website made. You're going to need an LLC so that you can open up a bank account. You can do a DBA, which is doing business as you just need that EIN so you can open a bank account. You can open a business bank account at any credit union for free. Then also you're gonna need money for overnight email. I like to do my deals promptly. Once I get somebody to agree, I like to overnight documents directly to them. I don't wanna give them too much time to think about it. Let's go ahead and get right to it. I send them over the proof, I send them over that. Sometimes you're gonna to have to pay for a mobile notary. If you guys ask, well, how do you get a notary? What you wanna do is find out where they're actually located and Google mobile notary in that city. They can meet at a Starbucks, they can meet at a McDonald's, they can meet at their home, they can be anywhere that's convenient for them. You get the documents over to the notary, they have them sign everything, they can mail you back the originals if the county requires that, or they can fax them or email it to you. So if you guys wanna learn about this step-by-step step and have full access to me for my mentorship where I will guide you and help you get deals, take advantage of this. Use promo code JT now for $50 off the course. This will not last long. And also, a lot of you guys have been noticing the price has gone up. I want to advise you guys. I am still currently the lowest costing course to teach tax or overages surplus funds. Now, at the beginning, the promotional price was $249. Now it's $349. If you use the $50 off, you can get down to $300. But there's still people that are charging. 1500 to 2000 so some there's people who think that that is expensive there's people who think that my course is expensive but everything is relative to the competition so if i'm giving you guys value honestly i believe that my course is the most fully in debt step by step all the documents you need i've had students that have taken other people's courses and have still said that you know this is something that they actually can grasp and it's very simple. It shows step-by-step step, has the documents and they have access to me for mentorship. Take advantage of it, guys. If you like this video, hit the like, 